Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Moto E7 Plus on my right and the Moto G Pure 2021 on my left. So without any more wait and let's just jump right into it. But before we do, if you're a huge fan of budget technology, just like myself and you're brand new to the channel, do me a quick favor. Hit both the like and the subscribe button on your way in and end the bell as well. And um, I'll get right back with you later groupies. All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at both of these devices in some more detail. And um, we're also going to be taking a look at some of the specifications, how the battery lasts, how the performance is, what um, type of you know performance we're getting with the cameras as well, things of that nature, call quality and reception. So if you're brand new to the channel, do me a few quick favor. Make sure you stay locked into the end of the video and um, we're going to jump right into it right now. So. Basically, both of these devices are going to be pretty similar when it comes to the price point. They almost have the exact same. Um, the Pure actually, they're actually the exact same height, 6.5 inch displays. The Pure has a LCD IPS display and the E7 has a TFT LCD display, but they both have textured power buttons, which is pretty crazy. Um, the only thing is that the E7 has a um, extra button here for your, um, you can map that out or whatever. So let's just, just turn these guys on right now. So I really like the fact that both of these things do have a, um, you know, you know, textured power button volume rocker right above it. The E7 obviously does have that. Um, dedicated, you know, Google Assistant button as well. They both have rear, fi um, rear, rear fingerprint sensors as well on back. Um, you can see the camera layout is definitely pretty different on both of these guys as well. Hello, Moto. And you can hear the speaker on the um, Pure just now. That was the Pure. Now the difference between the bottom is that both do have microphone and uh, speaker. But the only difference is that the Pure will have a Type-C and the E7 Plus will have a USB, um, micro USB cable, which is kind of crazy, even though it has the uh, dedicated um, button. So you can see we do have an extra SIM slot right here for expansion of the storage. And we these both will have dual SIM card slots. So let me just go ahead and unlock these guys. So one thing about the displays is that they're going to dim when you actually like put them down on a flat surface. And then when you look at them, when you put them up, you can see that they get a lot brighter. So that, that happens actually with both of these things. So I just kind of want to throw that out there. And, um, you know, they're both going to be very similar when it comes to the displays. Matter of fact, let me put a lighter wallpaper on the um, Moto G Pure's just so it's a little bit even when it comes to the wallpapers and stuff like that. So I'm just going to throw something on there that's pretty light on both of these guys. So wallpapers and you can see they give us interactive device wallpapers. And then you get the list to choose from right here. So let's just choose uh, this one. And let's just choose the same exact, um, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever this, this thing, let's just choose that one. Set as wallpaper, home screen and home screen. All right, so let's see if that worked. Okay, so it did work with both of these things and um, they both have that similar notch at the top as well, which is kind of crazy. So, um, you know, pretty decent. The only difference is that the Moto E7 um, Plus will have a four gigabyte model on here. So let me just check something out real quick. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look at the scrolling speeds. And for some reason, the E7 Plus is actually in dark mode and the, um, 
the pure is actually in the white mode. So let's just go ahead and check, take a look at the scrolling speeds on both of these things. Oh, that's that the pure was stuck for a hot minute. That's crazy. Wait, hold wait, hold on. It's not even it's not even fair right now. Alright, let's try that again. Shout out to Kia. Alright, let's try that one more time. So it appears that the E7 Plus just has you know, better scrolling speeds overall. It's just flying through. I'm trying to make the um, pure keep up, but the P the seven, the E7 Plus is just um, overall overall better when it comes to the scrolling speeds. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. I also want to throw out there that the E7 Plus right here on the right will have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And the Moto G Pure right here on the left will have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And when it comes to the processing chips on both of these guys, we're getting a Snapdragon 460 with the E7 Plus with four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage coupled along with it. So if you go into storage on this thing, let me just see if I can hit that with one finger and go into storage. You can see right here, that um, right here, let's say we have, um, you know, use 64 gigabytes, 30, 39 out of it. So it's a lot of storage on this thing. And then when you check out this guy right here, we, we are getting a Helio G25, which is the Moto G Pure's processing chip. And when you go into the storage, you're gonna notice that we do get on the this guy we we actually do get um you know 32 gigabytes on here so the the e7 plus does have more storage when it comes to the ram and when it comes to the overall you know storage and everything of that nature so i just kind of want to throw that out there but one of the things i did want to mention is that the e7 plus doesn't have a microphone at the top Whereas the Pure does, so it has dual microphones, one at the top and bottom, whereas the E7 Plus only has one microphone at the um, bottom. So I just want to throw that out there. But one of the things I wanted to throw out there is that the, on the E7 Plus, they did actually throw in a gyroscope, so you can actually game on here. It's going to be a lot quicker and smoother because it's optimized well with the Snapdragon 460. So it's just really fast on this device, no issues whatsoever when it comes to the performance, really solid. The only thing is that we do get Android 10, but it's actually a lot smoother overall than the um, G Pure I noticed. So you do get a lot of similar features on both of these devices, but you know, for the E7 just seems to be a little bit smoother because it has the Snapdragon processing chip so i just kind of wanted to throw that out there but you know really solid performance on both of these guys overall so another thing i did want to mention is that on the rear facing cameras you do get a 48 megapixel on the e7 but on the motorola you know um g pure you're only going to get a you know 30 megapixel so you get the 48 megapixel on the E7 on you know, on the E um, Pure the G Pure you're gonna get the 13 megapixel, but you're both you're bo they're both gonna give you a two megapixel um, macro camera as well. And um, on the front of the E7 Plus, we're actually getting an eight megapixel versus the um, five megapixel on the front of the Moto G Pure and everything like that. But let me know which device you think is better for the price point. I definitely both think both of these devices are pretty solid. It's actually a really solid matchup. It's actually closer than I expected, but um, both of these devices are pretty solid for the price. Um, you know, you do get Android 11 on the Pure, but on the um, E7 Plus, it just seems to be a little bit more well well optimized everything just seems to work perfectly smooth on there um the e pure e, the g pure is actually pretty solid as well on the left um let me know which camera module you think looks better but they both have fingerprint sensors 
facial recognition on board as well and just you know really solid performance you can do meta on here you could do meta on both of these guys the uh, e7 plus i have like on a dark mode feature so you, i can probably just turn that off oh there we go so yeah now they're both at um the light screen and um yeah both just look really solid when it comes to the overall performance but i think the e7 it's just a little bit more optimized for apps and stuff like that. And it has a better battery. And um, I honestly just like the E7 just a little bit more better with the 48 megapixel, 5,000 milliamp hour battery as well. Um, but let me know which, which one you think is better and I'm gonna get right back with you. I'll show up in the comment section and answer all your questions. The only advantage really is that the, um, the type C is on board here, but we do get micro USB, but we do get um, dual microphones on the Pure versus the um, E7 Plus, we don't get those. So I just want to make mention of that and we don't get NFC on either one of these guys, but 60 Hertz uh, displays on both of these things too. But um, I'll, I'll check you guys later, later group peace.